Hey, I'm Dirk Nowitzki. I play small forward for the Dallas Mavericks. Take one. Dirk with that patented one-legged step-back jump shot. I mean, it was uh, an unbelievable journey. It's been crazy how uh, fast it's flown by. Dirk Nowitzki, fitting of an MVP. Now looking back with pride. The Mavericks have scaled the NBA mountain. Nowitzki sealing the deal. Elevating his status amongst the NBA's greats. The all-time Mavericks scoring leader, Dirk Nowitzki. 25,000. Here it is. Dirk Nowitzki, 30,000 points. The wait is over. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for taking in a long, lanky kid over 20 years ago and, and making him one of your own. I'll be always grateful. And the fans there, grateful as well, played all 21 of his seasons with the Mavericks. Dirk Nowitzki led them to the NBA title in 2011, top six scoring all time in those 21 seasons, most with one team in NBA history. And pleased to be joined now by Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, congratulations. What was your immediate reaction when you received word that you were officially in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, so when, when Jerry called, uh, you know, I tried to stay all cool on the phone. I was like, oh, thanks, Jerry. That's amazing. But I'm sitting there like, <laughs> this, is, this is super cool. Uh, so that, and then I called my, my family, my immediate family uh, immediately. And uh, I mean, my mom right away said, I'm the mother of a Hall of Famer. And that's when it really set in, got a little emotional. And, you know, of course, thanked them for for all the sacrifice and what they've done for me growing up is uh, in, in my childhood. And so that uh, just just got to share it a little bit with them. So that was uh, that was the most special moment. You know, the first time I think any of us saw you here in the United States was in 1998 at the Nike Hoop Summit. I think it was in San Antonio mm -hmm. and you were in the army at the time, weren't you? Was, now, how, how did you view yourself as a player before you played in that event and then exploded after the 30? Yeah, points? you know, scouting at the time wasn't as big and especially in Europe, there were some. But, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't as extensive uh, as everybody has a European scouting and worldwide scouting se uh, section now. But uh, that game really put me on the map. You know, it was kind of my first time uh, over here playing basketball. And, uh, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I, I knew we had a good team with the international squad. And uh, it just ended up being perfect. We ended up winning for the first time. And I had a good game. And, uh, and since my world exploded then. I was all of a sudden I was a, a draft high lottery pick and and all these things and these all these expectations. So my my world literally changed overnight uh, with that one game in San Antonio. And so uh, thinking back, it was an amazing time. Just, you know, the uncertainty and just uh, working on your craft and trying to get better and then getting drafted and getting the NBA was uh, was an amazing journey. And these couple months were really intense, but awesome. Any chance to use that haircut from 98 when, in your Hall of Fame display? Listen, I, the, back, <laughs> the Backstreet Boys were uh, were huge back in the day, so I was, I was going with the little middle part, uh, which I haven't brought back ever since. It's a good thing. I, I think you can still pull it off, no problem. I, I read a story about your early training that at one point, while you were still in Germany, one of your coaches said, okay, no one can stop you from being the best here. That's a foregone conclusion, but now you have to decide if you want to be one of the best in the world and compete against them. What would you think back to that moment and now going to the Hall of Fame? Have you considered that at all? It's been an amazing journey starting off when I met my coach and, and he's here also to soak it us all in. I uh, met him when I was about 15, 16 and, uh, you know, really started to work uh, every day and, and, and work towards that, that goal to, to one day be over here and, uh, and play for, our, uh, for the NBA. And uh, so that was, uh, it's been a, a, an amazing journey and uh, that he's been on with me for, for the whole time and uh, so many greats, ups and downs. And he has been there, my mentor and, and helping me every step of the way. So it's been, uh, this is also an, a, a huge thank you to him and what he's done for me and, uh, and taking me in and, uh, and, and, and helping me every step of the way. How does it make you feel going in with Pau Gasol and Tony Parker about the global nature of the game and how you know the whole world is represented in this class? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, I think there were a few guys that you know, blazed the way for us a little bit, the Schrempf and Kukoc and Petrovic and all these guys. And then and then the next wave came, you know, with, with, with Pau and, 
and Tony and myself. And, and, and if we help now to make the game even more global and inspired and some kids along the way, that's obviously super humbling to, to all of us. So uh, I'm super excited to go in with this class and obviously the history that Dwayne and I had and meeting in the finals and the international guys, all the amazing coaches. So this, uh, this is super humbling and I'm um, so thrilled to be here. Well, congratulations. Thank congratulations, you, yes. Dirk. Well deserved. Thanks awesome, for having me. Awesome career. Dirk Nowitzki. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.